the ELCIC is a community of people wanting to think and be living in a way that is loving God and loving our neighbors. Being a member of the ELCIC means spreading God's message by being a kind, empathetic, and accepting person in my everyday life. It means that I'm connected to people across the country. I know that no matter where I go, I'll always have somebody that I can go for coffee with. And I'll always have a place that feels at least a little bit like home. It means that I get to add my voice to important conversations, both on a local level and on a national level. Being a member of the ELCIC means feeling seen and being included. There's a real focus and a real passion on justice and care. The church as a place of intentional community has taught me the value of my faith and everything the church can be and mean in the life of a young person. Our church can be a place where we nurture each other no matter who we are or wherever we are in our faith journey. What an amazing time it is to be part of the ELCIC. Our church isn't afraid to tackle some difficult issues. Ableism, racism, white supremacy, homophobia, biphobia, and transphobia. We have been called to become a more diverse and inclusive church. There's no better way to celebrate this work than with our new logo and tagline, living out God's grace and unconditional love. A new vision, logo, and tagline are important to our church because they state plainly that we are a diverse and inclusive community because God calls us to be that way. Launching a new vision statement, a logo, and a tagline is important to me and to us as a church because just like the gospel that we proclaim, our church is a living word. As an ally and member of various communities, it is so affirming to hear such an accepting vision statement. It is so important to continue pushing our faith community to be more supportive and inclusive of all and to grow from the mistakes of our past. It reflects our unwavering commitment to a healthy and sustainable future for our congregations, councils, and all the communities that we serve. It will remind and point us as to who we are called to be and to empower us to go out into the hurting world and be a sign of hope and a sign of God's love to and for all people. We are reminded that we are part of God's family and that we have grace, grace in abundance to share. So with excitement, we go with full hearts, renewed spirits to proclaim God's grace.